As we move towards eradicating all polioviruses, one important step is to gradually withdraw the oral polio vaccine, starting with the type 2 component. The world is switching from the oral polio vaccine, which contains all three types of poliovirus, to the vaccine, which contains only two. This presents its own risks. In this video, I will show you the risk mitigation measures being put in place to make sure the switch goes smoothly. Stopping the use of type 2 oral polio vaccine will mean that children will not be protected against type 2 polio through the oral polio vaccine. There are several things we need to do to make sure that children are not left vulnerable to any type 2 polio viruses after the switch has taken place. Firstly, we need to minimize the risk of new strains of type 2 vaccine-derived polioviruses emerging. And secondly, we need to plan for how we would deal with the consequences if a new strain did emerge. The first of these threats are new circulating vaccine-derived polioviruses. To tackle this, we are making sure that we boost children's protection against type 2 as the switch dates get closer. In high-risk countries, we are carrying out intensive campaigns using the oral polio vaccine that contains all three components, including type 2, the trivalent vaccine. The inactivated polio vaccine also has an important role to play to boost children's immunity against all three types of polio. All countries are introducing at least one dose of the inactivated polio vaccine into their routine immunization systems. This will offer a base layer of immunity against type 2, even when the oral polio vaccine no longer does. Because it's made from a killed or inactivated virus strain, there is no risk of vaccine-derived viruses emerging from use of this vaccine. These important steps will help us to minimize the risks of new strains of circulating vaccine-derived polio emerging. And just so that we are prepared for all possible scenarios, we are also putting planes in place so that we know what to do if an outbreak were to happen. While we will no longer be using type 2 oral polio vaccine, we'll be storing away stockpiles so it can be used if needed. In the same way that we can quickly respond to any polio outbreak with the best tools for each specific situation, Having this stock spile of type 2 vaccine will mean we can rapidly protect children if we had to. A second advantage of introducing the inactivated polio vaccine is that it provides protection against all three types of the virus. Through routine immunization, it will give children a base layer of immunity which will be especially valuable in places with low immunity or where there is a risk for polio returning. This would serve as a platform for the stockpiles of type 2 OPV to build on if there was an outbreak. These risk mitigation measures are working to make the world more resilient against type 2 polioviruses. By putting these safety nets in place, we can be sure that withdrawing type 2 oral polio vaccines will have a positive impact on the world's children and speed up our journey towards a polio-free world. Thank you for watching.